Hello and welcome to Game Edge UK. And today I'm playing a game that I trailered to be played about November time, and I never got round to it. So, yep. Welcome to Back to the Future, the game. Um. Yep. I think we're gonna let the first trailer play through, and. Uh, and then Telltale Games will stop responding. That shouldn't normally happen. Oh. Alright, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th. 1985, 1.18 a.m., and this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. I wonder if it actually swears in this, because this is meant to be a game that kids can play. I wonder. Not me, the car, the car! Because he does swear in this, but I think. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, yeah. you're gonna see some serious shit. No, he does. Alright. Watch this, watch this. Oh. Uh, I'll go with that. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Doc. You disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future to be uh, exact. Got some shower, DeLorean. Precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds. We shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built the time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, uh, the yeah, no business. Construction made a flux dispersal. Oh. Uh, Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. It stands I there. The car could easily come back and just knock him over. Right. Let's go just do stuff. Where's the notebook? Notebook. Notebook. Got it. There we go. Mm. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's not this isn't the way it happened. Time. Uh, something's <laughs> way off here. Oh. 
Thunder's rolling in. Uh, Doc? I don't, hang on, how's that work? How does it turn to the Lone Pine Mall if... Mario has it gone back? Makes no sense. Oh! What? Doc, come back. Doc. This makes no sense. I don't understand. Doc. Oh. Oh, it was just a dream. Oh, I see. Weird science person Daddy, in the background. Is everything okay? Frankenstein. Yeah, mom. I it was. It was just a nightmare. Uh, it was in the past. Well, there's the first. All oh, right. So this is set after about three part three. Okay, I see. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. Yeah, it's the year after Back to the Future Part 1, you 2, and 3. Get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Miami Vice poster. Telltale Games not responding again. I think it's going to keep doing this every time we go somewhere. I don't understand why. Docks are part, well, his little shed. Jules Verne cut books. Should look at all the different things from the different episodes, from the different parts of Battlefield 1, 2, and 3. house being sold. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. At least things can't get any worse. No, hey, go. Oh. Back Hi, in Dad. time playing this on, on the jukebox. Come um. to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Shut up, Beth. Nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. Right. Now, Biff, leave That's Marty sick. alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Piece of shit. Biff really annoys me. Let's go through to the actual the clock tower. So, uh, mine reading helmet. Oh, I meant to get the mine reading helmet. Let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. You got it, Mr. McFly. What a kiss ass. Uh, let's look at the town square. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. It's a watch. Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, huh. that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? 
This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh. I'm gonna have a look. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Oh, huh. but really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Crap. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Ah. Crap. Um... Talk to him. Hey, Biff. A little bit reminds me of Doc. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead! Time to get over it and move on. Okay, I'm not gonna get anything out of him. Uh, never mind. Let's go deal with something. Uh, oh, that's, that's my guitar. Hey, the Dad, first part. Why's my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Uh, I need to talk to him. Uh, hang on. I'll talk to Dad later. Let's. Um. Can I use this in the amplifier? Yeah, I can. Here's an oldie. What a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. My guitar. Now, Stick. Biff, yeah. I think that's Marty's guitar. Yeah, it is, oh, actually. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> you're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. <laughs> wow, that was sizzling hot. Like a melting ice cube. Uh, he's, it's because he's on the fire controls. Let's make some noise. And I'll see if Marty's dad has anything to say. So I'm just about to see if I can hey, dad. get that thing back from Biff. Uh, it's another dream. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. Uh, I'll turn about Biff. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. Okay. Uh, who's running this sale? Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. Kiss ass. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Um, let's use this. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Oh. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Oh, George. Oh, I know, yeah. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever right, you back say. to future part one reference. <laughs> that was rather well loud. I can't, Biff. Oh, shit. Ah, Doc. Where are you? 
Oh. How convenient. Let's dock back then. Let's go back in time. Because the DeLorean's here. Let's get this thing opened up.